Good morning guys, how are we on this gorgeous day? It's Monday morning. I'm still in the office, I'm in the office in a bikini. It's going to be 30 degrees today. So I'm just gonna um, do a half day of work and then have a swim in the ocean. We're lucky that we live right near the ocean so we get to go just walk down to the beach and have a swim. I am just gonna pump through a few emails. I always get I always get a lot of emails on the weekend and just check our stats over the weekend to see how sales went, if we have any returns, customer feedback. We now have reviews on our site, so um, go through and check the reviews. I also need to, because we've got our campaign launching next month, so in basically a month, just less than a month, maybe more towards three weeks, we are launching our um, next collection, which is a very, very small little capsule collection. Um, so I wouldn't call it a collection, I'd call it like a little, like a little capsule. Because um, we've already shot it and everything, so I need to go through and make the selects for those photos. Send them off to Peter, get them in high res. Um, then upload all like the e-com and everything to our site, the description from the SKU master and things like that this week. I want to get that up this week so that once it gets to the week or two before we launch, we can focus purely on um, just the social media aspect because I, I also have to factor, factor in that this week and next week I'm going to probably start filming all of the workouts with Ben for our 30 day challenge. It's kind of going to be like a bloody 60 day challenge for me because I'm going to be doing it, filming the workouts and then doing the workouts with you guys on the 1st of November. So make sure you... Oh, I actually set my video live last night. It's starting November 1 and you get yoga, Pilates, fitness, nutrition, Facebook community, lives, everything like that. And we're, it's going to be a 30 day challenge. We're going to do it together from November 1st or somewhere before everything starts to wind down for the year. So it's going to be really nice. It's going to be a lot of fun. Having lunch out in the yard. We've made what I made the other night, just that um, turkey, sour cream, cheese, salad, little mini Mexican bowls. Beautiful, My favorite meal. And no surprises who's at our feet. Where's number two? There he is. Simba. Hello. So what you got there, buddy? Simba. <gasps> Hello. Hi, baby boy. Hi, Missy. Hi, you two. Hi. <laughs> Good evening. You guys say hi to everyone again? He went to the vet yesterday and he got his little the hair cut around his eyes. He's got a little ha eye haircut. That's all. Oh, mommy loves you. Oh, baby boy. Since I've had this case, which you guys saw, I got, oh my God, that nail. I got these cases from Caseify. I spoke about like a good few months ago and I've had this one on my phone since. I have dropped my phone so many times and there's just not one single chance of it shattering. And a lot of you guys actually always ask me about my case. It says one mile here. If you missed that video, I got this phone case customized on Caseify. Uh, it is literally just the best, best, best case ever. You can drop it, you can literally throw it all at a wall and I feel like it wouldn't even shatter. But I went with the gun green, um, not translucent background. You can customize like the background color. You can customize the side, um, how protected you want it to be what color you want um, the text to be, and there's a whole different variety. And obviously, you know, I've got to rep one mile. <laughs> always repping one mile. It's my baby and I love it, so I'm always going to be re repping it. But I'm pretty sure you can actually buy this if you want. I'll leave my link down below because I know that when I linked it last time, uh, you could actually buy my one mile, my customized case. I thought it would just be easier if I showed you guys how I customized my case. So uh, you can see that the base color will just pop up and then if you scroll down you can write in whatever text you want. You can write in one mile if you want to have the same. Um, I select the color and then just chose the layout just to be the small text at the bottom. Uh, but obviously you can change it to whatever you would like. You can customize the color of the text, the color of the case. I'll leave my link on the screen here and in the description below, but it's caseify.com forward slash Sammy Robinson. So anyway, I'm going to make some pizza. The house is a mess. I feel like I need to clean the house. I'm doing the dish shot like a good little roommate I am. Nick! Yeah. Hey, hey, I'm in here. I don't think I've known a household to drink more tea than we drink in this house. 
Which is good, good on us, because we've got to get that hydration in. Hi. I didn't think that was you. Why not? Because normally you don't touch the dishwasher. Ah ha ha! He knows I'm filming. He gets excited by the prospect. Oh my god, I look like a gremlin. Yuck. <laughs> oh my god. What's happening? Are we making dinner? Yeah, yeah, we're gonna make dinner. We're gonna make pizzas. We have pre-cooked some barbecue chicken. Uh, we're gonna put some spring onion, capsicum, tomato, onion, mushrooms, pizza base sauce, and some pesto. And then I love to top it off with some cheese and some barbecue sauce. Ain't nothing scarier than Sam <laughs> Okay. Especially when you're wielding a knife. He thinks he's getting food. Hey, 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 hey. He's pulling on my pants. Simba. Naughty boy. I also forgot to add, we put zucchini on top. I used to hate zucchini, and I actually love it now. What about you, Crunk? Do you love it? More than anything in the world. <laughs> Except you. Zucchini's close second. Anala. <laughs> We're gonna assemble this. So this is what we have here. I like to heat up the capsicum and the mushrooms. Um, just in case when they get in the oven they don't cook, so I like to just get them a little soft. And this is what we use, we use these tip top fins, um, and they make the most delicious pizza bases. So, I'm going to put a dollop of this pizza sauce, and then I just spread it out and then I start putting all of the toppings on. We really have not much cheese. I've actually been into watching Vanderpump Rules. So juicy. Oh. Puppies. puppies coming! Hello! We're gonna wait for the pizzas to cook and then eat dinner and watch Pub. Hey! Tony Crunch! Hey, hey. Uh, how's it going? Hey guys! Hi! Oh, it's alright, dude. Oh, my legs are sore from the gym. I'll get the door for you. Thank you. So you can see when you put the barbecue sauce on before you put it in the oven, it like caramelizes and gets all yummy and like crispy on the pizza. What do we think? What do we think? Is that a good idea? Yes, I've got puppies. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> Hello. How are you, mister? How are you? You being a good boy? Hello. I have been loving this combo. It's tuna with mayo, cucumber, sweet chili sauce. Oh, and there's avocado too. So good. It just literally picked up as I started filming, so I hope you can hear me. Oh, they're called the Bambi. Oh, cute. I saw Steph doing a um, story with these the other day, actually. So epic. These are the same ones in like a gorgeous turtle shell shade. Probably should take the stickers off that Okay, you guys are gonna lull at me, but I'm finishing off this video just with a little <laughs> get ready with me in my toilet. I've just filmed my Instagram story from Mac, which I love Studio Fix Fluid, but I've always used it in NT40, which has always been a little too dark for me. And so Jess recommended I get NC37. And it is, if you guys are a fake tan wearer or even have like an olive undertone, NC37 is such a good shade. You know what I feel like I haven't done with you guys in such a long time? Like a little glowy makeup tutorial. I um, just feel like today having like the glowiest skin. So just using heart shape tape just a little bit under my eyes by the way this stuff's great as well this is pat mcgrath and it's actually all rubbed off so i'm not even sure what it's called but it looks like this it's like a little powder and it's just translucent so on days where i'm not wearing very much makeup i'll just take i'll just take like a little bit of it underneath my eyes just to set under my eyes and in my t-zone just around here my chin and just like in between my eyebrows those are the spots that i feel like i don't like to look oily this is the first impressions 
but this is, I got sent this Too Faced Chocolate Diamond and it's like really like glowy. It's like a really glowy product. I'd like to try these down my nose. I'm just gonna really lightly put this on. Then since I tried this on camera, it was sort of supposed to be a first impressions video when I went to the Hunter Valley, but because there was so many people around, it was quite hard to like talk to you guys. So I tried these Kylie blushes for the first time on camera. And that's called Pink Dreams. It's like a really nice baby pink. I love a baby doll pink blush. Then my favourite highlighter that I've been reaching towards like heaps recently um, is Clinique Powder Pop Flower Highlighter in Luna Pop. So yeah, this is how it looks. It's gorge. So I'm just going to add that to the high points of my face. I hope that you guys can respect that my life now is sort of revolved around one mile. That's my business. That's what I work, 9 to 5 every day. So it's going to be a little harder for me moving forward to go do the travel vlogs, obviously no travels on right now, but um, go to events heaps. I will do fitness, I will do makeup, I will do fashion, I will show you guys back end of business. In the same breath, like if you don't like watching the one mile stuff and me talking constantly about my brand, then I you don't have to follow me because at the end of the day, that is sort of my life and what I'm doing right now. So obviously as my YouTube channel has progressed, I feel like I have should have grown up with you guys and found new fun exciting things with you guys and this is just my current thing so the lip liner I just used was Mecca Max Pout Pencil in Classy so it's a little deeper and then the lip gloss that I just used is the Glass Slipper by Fenty Beauty now the key to making your skin super super glowy and staying glowy is actually MAC Fix Plus in Magic Radiance this stuff makes you literally look like you've got glass skin it can make your hair greasy though, so just cover your hair. Don't put mascara on all the time. If I do, I just put like a little bit. I just put the really glowy products on my skin. Really small amounts of each product as well, so that it's not like super noticeable. And I feel like it gives you a really nice glowy complexion. Without feeling like you're going to get too oily as well, because there's not too much product on your skin. So anyways, I hope that you guys enjoyed. Thank you so much for watching, and I will speak to you very shortly in another video.